Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can extract PS3 ISOs for the RPCS3 emulator. Um, that way you can play games and it doesn't say it's corrupted. So the first thing you want to do is open the browser and go to this website right here. Uh, GitHub and look for PS3 Disk Dumper. You're going to want to go over here to Releases. And you're going to want the Windows version or Mac or Linux. It's up to you. And I'm going to open this and put it in this folder with the game. Like that. Okay. I'm going to open it up. Okay. Now it says, please insert a game disk. Well, if you're on Windows 11, uh, you can mount this by double clicking or right clicking and putting uh, open with uh, Windows Explorer. But I'm going to double click. Uh, you can use other programs to mount DVDs if you need to. Uh, the name of the programs escaped me right now, so I'm sorry, but you're going to have to just look that up. But once you mount it uh, to the drive, so I'm going to double click it. Now it's mounted to my H drive. It's right there. Now you can't just copy these files off and be good. Um, what you got to do is you got to go back to this program right here. Uh, go to here. This dumps save to. Um, you can change this if you want. Now, I think everything just looks fine. I don't think anything uh, you have to change. I didn't have to last time. I was just curious where the game was going. But anyways, so just click start. Now we wait. And it's that simple, really. Use this tool and it will grab the images that you want from the game files I mean and uh, just add it to the emulator and it should uh, pop up because normally if you extract it any other way it usually says RPCS3 cannot find it like it doesn't exist or it's not valid or whatever so When it's done, okay, it should show up. It should show up in the original folder. Yeah, right there. Now, now you can just open up the emulator, RPCS3. I'll show you that it works. I already have it uh, linked, so you're going to have to give me a sec. Uh, there's an update, not right now. You can remove this. Remove. Oh, I got to remove this game. Yes. All right, so what you want to do is file, add game. Uh, I put mine under here just for today's video. I'm not sure if you can select the whole folder, but maybe. Yeah, okay. And then just hit OK. And that'll, you know, add it to here, and it should launch. Yeah, otherwise it would say uh, it wasn't valid or whatever. So, I hope this tutorial helped you. Um... I might make more tutorials in the future like this just to help whoever and uh thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.